already know. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, everybody. My sinuses are exploding. Exploding. Don't tell me what to do to fix it because I'm not going to do any of that shit. Let's just keep it 100%. I'm not putting a neti pot up my nose. I'm not putting essential oils on my neck. I'm not going to salt therapy. I'm not doing any of that stuff, okay? I'm just going to take medicine but my, and get through it. But my sign, the pressure in my head right here um, is killing me. Not to mention the fact that my ears hurt, okay? And I got a ton of snot, but it's all clear. So I don't think it's an infection. I just think it's a cold that sucks. Anyway, uh, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Coffee Talk. I sound like a man because I'm sick. It is what it is. Woo woo. Um, I got to talk fast because I got to get the kids out of the house, and I'm in a feisty mood today because I don't feel well and I didn't sleep. The pink hat is back. Y'all know? Those of you that have been with me a long time, you know. Once it gets cold... I keep this hat on my head. I cook with it. I got a bunch of cooking and cast irons I'm going to do for you guys over the break. We're going to be cooking together, drinking together, partying together, doing coffee talk. And this time you're going to always see the hat. Um, anyway, so I got to tell you all something, okay? I know some of you are going to be disappointed. I can already tell you some of you are going to be mad. You're going to put mad faces uh, here. You're going to send me private messages talking about... You know, that's not what God wants. I already know. Just so you know, I already know. Um, if you could avoid the mad faces, that would be great. Um, but I know some of you snitches are just waiting to push the mad button, so get ready. So I had this conversation with this 20-year-old girl, and she asked if I had one piece of advice Okay, one piece of advice that I could tell her, look, here come the mad faces, fools, fools. And y'all don't know, it tells me who pushes the mad faces. I could see him block you in two seconds. That's what I understand. If you don't want to be here, just don't be here. You push the mad faces, I just go through and block you. Um, all right, Ambria, 23, you ready? All right, so here's the thing about 20-somethings, right? A lot of times you want to give them advice about not listening to anybody else's criticism, pursuing their dreams, you know, taking care of their bodies. But the truth is 20 year olds are not listening to that shit. Okay. So I could have coffee talked her within an inch of her life. I could have said, darling, people are going to judge you. Let them judge. They're going to talk about you. Let them talk. They're going to blase, blah, blase, blah. But she's not listening to that because at 20, you think the, the opinions of others rules your life. And in a social media environment where everybody's got an opinion about your uh, selfies or your job or your body or whatever. Um, hold on. Let's make it real easy for Thomas. Okay. So, anyway. Um, I, uh, I said, so she said, do you have any um, advice for me? And I said, I have advice I think you'll listen to. Yes, I do. Okay, now get ready. I know some of y'all are going to be mad. I said, don't skip the hoe phase. Don't skip the hoe phase. And she was like, what? And I said, don't skip the hoe phase. Because it will catch up to you when you're 45 and married. You will look back at your life and you will go, awesome. I've seen two penises my entire life. Now, I mean it. 
I'm not saying. And by the way, the whole phase is not just sex. The whole phase is that carefree, say yes to dates, go out for free food, wear fun clothes, go dancing, make out, go out with two different guys in one night. Like it's not just about sex. The whole phase is about an attitude. Take a couple of years of your life and just be, just allow yourself to like be sexy and try things you wouldn't normally try. Be safe, obviously, be safe, right? Be safe. But like, maybe you never dated like uh, somebody outside your race or a woman or whatever. You want to try things. Maybe you want to, um, I don't know, go dancing at the Copacabana. But that's not something you would ever do. So somebody tell, asks you to go, go. Go. Don't skip the whole phase. Because what will happen is, and listen, every, let me tell you something else, 20-somethings, okay? Every married woman in their 40s, okay, is going to say, don't listen to her because I'm so happy married. I've been married to the same man I met when I was 14. Okay, you're the exception, not the rule, okay? And I love that you've lived on Old McDonald's farm and you and Old McDonald have lived happily ever after. I love it. And you've got 10 kids and you're satisfied and you're happy and you're having the best orgasms of your life. I get it. I totally get it. But you're, you're the exception, not the rule. And I think sometimes people think the hoe phase is just about sex and I can't say it enough. The hoe phase is about exploration. It's about self-discovery. It's about like figuring out what works for your body and what you like so that you're not faking orgasms for the next 40 years. Okay. Cause that's terrible. That is terrible. I'd rather eat Brussels sprouts and fart all night than fake orgasms. I'm just telling you. But if you don't allow yourself an opportunity to get out, travel, see the world, you know, rack up a little credit card date, debt, little credit card debt, just a little, okay? Not a lot. Don't like put yourself into like super debt, but just a little bit. Um, live. Because when you get married and have children, there is an expectation. By the way, people on this platform love me. And yet they still, in a lot of ways, judge me for the life that I live and the work that I do and the amount of time I spend away from my children. Now, imagine if they didn't love me. Right? And when you get married and have children, there is an expectation that you will dress a certain way. And you will have a certain kind of sex. And everything will be very nice and polite. And I get it. I totally get it. Um, but like some people will look back and go, damn, 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 I didn't do enough. And I will tell you this, I'm 42. I had a freaking blast in my 20s. A blast in my 30s. I mean, I... I was such a hoe and I don't mean just about sex. I just, I traveled. I spent money. I didn't have, I made money. I worked hard, but I played hard. I, I went, I dated Spanish guys. I dated black guys. I dated women. I dated everybody. Like there's nothing. I mean, I just had the best time. I've lived 10 lives. I've lived 10 lives. And I look back at people who are like, um, look, Here's the thing. There are going to be people commenting here who met their husband when they were 15 and they are so happy and amazing and had the best time. And that is the exception, not the rule. I want you to slide into heaven using everything God gave you and going like, I had a freaking blast. Do you see my whole phase? And of course, God's going to be a little like, oy, with the whole phase. Oy, oy, oy. But he's going to be like, okay, toot, toot. Because this life is meant to be lived. And again, whole phase is not just about sex. 
I'm not talking about go have sex with everybody who winks at you. I'm talking about live in your 20s. Wear the sexy clothes. Be proud of your boobs. Because let me tell you something. Your boobs are going to look like shitty pancakes when you're 40. Okay? So when you're 20, yes, be proud of your boobs and your small nipples that have not grown to become freaking saucers so that your babies can find them when they're nursing from fucking Zimbabwe. Okay? Be proud of your boobs and your legs that don't have veins and freaking stretch marks. And like, and I, listen, I, I'm just saying there's so much that changes when you hit your 40s and there's such an expectation of responsibility. Eat the chocolate, get the dessert, wear the sexy clothes, say yes to dates you don't really want to go on. Just try different things. If you're, step outside your comfort zone. I'm telling you, the whole phase is where it's at. The whole phase is where it's at. I'm just telling you. All right, that's my advice. That's my advice. Or else you you could, not, not will, but you could end up divorced or widowed in your 40s going, I didn't live. I gave this man everything. I met this man when I was 20. I only saw one penis. I'm sorry. But there are some beautiful penises out there, ladies. Straight, pink, nice. Just saying. I can't imagine only seeing one. And by the way, listen, everybody's talking to you about 40-year-old boobs. You thought I was kidding. And by the way, live your life in your 40s too. I'm 42 and I live my life. I got a sinus infection because I went from LA to Jersey to see my friend, to Philly to see Maxwell, to... DC to see the Redskins Giants whoop the Redskins ass if I'm being honest and then flew home like I live my life I work hard for my money and I spend it well I live my life but I'm also the exception I had my first child at 31 my second child at 32 and my third child at 34 I got married at 30 my whole phase I slid into marriage on my vagina I brought my whole phase all the way up to that altar y'all all the way up to that altar. I wore Michael's ass out. Why do you think Michael married me? That man was never going to get married again. I had this man playing golf in his damn front yard in his boxers. Okay? Doing things in his car he didn't even do in a bedroom up until that point. Someone just said there's nothing beautiful about a penis. Oh, honey, you need to come meet Michael. Anyway, I love you guys and I'm just trying to keep it real. Some of you won't like this talk. It's not for you. I get it. But I'm just telling you, live your life. Eh, 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 eh. Um, celebrate your boobs. Wear the clothes. Go out. Dance. Eat. Drink the wine. Eat the chocolate. Make out. Give a hand job. It's not going to kill you. Um, I'm living my best life. All right. I love you guys. By the way, I can I'm just saying, if we're being honest and we wanted to do a pillow talk, I could do, I could give a class on that two-handed crazy eight. Anybody wants to learn, you could sign up. I'll, I'll put the sign up sheet on Facebook. All right. I love you guys so much, so much. Have a great Christy. I am never going to forget that comment for the rest of my life. Oh my God, if you're brave, you'll share this video. If you're not brave, I respect that. I love you guys so much. Have a great, great day.